Hello viewers. Welcome to QuickBooks Desktop. And this is version 2016. My name is Charles Caffel. And I'm going to be your instructor throughout this series of videos. I want to take a few moments to introduce myself and also let you know a little bit about what we are going to cover as you walk through this course. I have been a QuickBooks instructor for about three years. I teach most of the accounting softwares like QuickBooks itself. Pastel. We have also Tally. But QuickBooks is one of my favorites. Hopefully, I will make this a little bit more fun for you. I'm going to be starting at the very beginning. And I'm going to assume you know nothing. In other words, I'm going to assume the viewers know nothing about QuickBooks. And that way, if you are new to QuickBooks, then you know exactly how to get started. If you are a little more experienced with QuickBooks, and you have used QuickBooks before, then hopefully you will get some tips, tricks, and easy ways to do things. And I, I will also be covering some of the new features in this QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2016 version. We are going to be going through everything from setting up your company file in QuickBooks. We are going to talk about customers. We are going to talk about vendors. We are going to talk about setting up bank accounts and bank fields. We are going to talk about payroll. We also talk about sales tax and all kinds of other things that we are going to look at. So go ahead and pick a piece of paper and a pen because you will want to take lots of notes because we are starting from the very basic until we finish the course. The reason as to why we've started with this a bit old version is because I wanted to pick the older version and we are going to be updating them. If we finish the QuickBooks Pro 2016, we shall go to a newer version, which is around 2020, 2021, depending on whichever we, we shall pick. But at least I wanted, I wanted us to start from when they have not made so many adjustments or there are a little bit fewer tasks that are within there. And you also look at an upgraded version where we are going to be looking at what are the things that have been brought that we are not there in 2016, but they brought them in a newer version as we shall, we shall see. As I said, you need to have at least a piece of paper and a pen because you'll be required to jot down some of the 
information for your perusal as we as we, we go through the the course and what i advise is that if we, if if let's say you finish a video and you see you've not maybe you, you have not grasped the concept make sure you rewatch the video again as many times as you want or as you need to in order to capture or to get those very basics from the starting point because i believe that if you understand from what i'm going to teach up to the time that we are going to end this course you will be able to become an expert and you will be able to go to the different advanced quickbooks versions of either desktop or quickbooks online and you will also be able to become a quickbooks pro advisor just like me so if you if, if let's say you find that you need you have watched the video and you need some clarity you have some question or you have anything anything you want to say about what you have picked or the knowledge you have picked i advise you can feel free to send us an email and also get in touch with us through our whatsapp numbers that are that are going to be displayed on those documents that you will be seeing and we shall be able to get back to you soon or as far as we can so without wasting more time let's go ahead and get started now let's go ahead and jump over into the next video and we are going to be discussing the different versions of desktop of quickbooks desktop and we shall be looking at the differences between the quickbooks desktop and the quickbooks online versions that we have so that's going to be in our next video we are going to make them a bit shorter but at least the how short they are you should be able to jot down something or you should be able to pick something out of it Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.